That is why you are called Jehovah. That is why you are called Jehovah. What you say you will do, that is what you will do. Oh, that is why you are called Jehovah. That is why you are called. That is why you are called Jehovah. That is why you are called. That is why you are called Jehovah. What you say you will do. That is why you are called Jehovah. 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 That is why you are called. That is why you are called Jehovah. What you say you will do.
be seated. Shortly we shall be rising to pray. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, let all our new converts of the year be turned into signs and wonders, thereby drawing others to Christ and into this church. Let's say amen. The chapter 8, verse 23, Thus said the Lord, it shall come to pass in those days that ten men shall come out of the languages of all the nations, and lay hold to him that, that's a Jew, and say to him, we have heard that God is with you, we are going with you. Shall we rise and begin to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, all our new converts of the year be turned into signs and wonders, thereby drawing others to Christ and into this church. Is someone praying that prayer now? Let God hear your voice as you pray in the name of of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, let all our new converts of the year be turned into signs of wonders, thereby drawing others to Christ and into this church. Someone is praying for a new converts. Someone is praying for a new converts. Let the Lord hear your voice. Let him hear your voice of intercession. Father, in the name of Jesus, let all our new converts of the year be turned into signs of wonders. Thereby join others to Christ and into this church in the mighty name of Jesus. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. Let's pray for our new converts. Let's pray for our new converts. Father, in the name of Jesus, let all our new converts of the year be turned into signs of wonders. Thereby join others to Christ and into this church in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Are you praying for a new covers? Let the Lord hear your voice. Pray fervently. Pray earnestly. Let the Lord hear your voice. Pray for them. Pray for them. Father, in the name of Jesus, let all our new covers of the year be turned into signs and wonders, thereby drawing others to Christ and into this church. In the mighty name of Jesus, are you praying boldly? Are you praying confidently? And you pray with authority in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, let all our new converts of the year be turned into signs and wonders, thereby drawing others to Christ and into this church. In the name of Jesus, let us pray. Pray, let God hear your voice. Pray, let God hear your voice. Pray with faith. 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 Let God hear you as you pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, let all of us of the year be turned 
into signs and wonders, thereby drawing others to Christ and into this church. Someone is praying that prayer. Someone is praying that prayer. Pray earnestly. Pray fervently. Pray boldly. Reto Shadalaba. E Clorado. Zaro Brady. E Shubradano. E Cletosia Lesha. Babaro Teto Taratazose. E Brecatosia Leshano. E Babano. Le Copali. De Rosiano. E Robarada. A Treclota Balo. E Shalaba. Leto Zazo. E Taradi. A Leto Pradi. Shalo Bradia. Azazarata, Ero Pradi, Ero Zagarada, Ero Shadala, Ababeno Zaneto Bradia, Ero Diano, Isakarada, Eretosia, Eshabalo, Eretosia Leta, Babana Sagbetora de Shada, Ecletosia Leshano, Ebra Catalabaya, Metosiano, Eteradi, Azazaleto Prodia Lesha, Eka Prato Zosea, Ero Diano Zane, Eshalaba, E prota, e zosia, e tora, e shalopa, le tozino pradi, e ruda balada, a gletopalia, e zuteliano, e paranda, e soprande, e sopranda, o radazase, e zoglarata, a babarato zezora, into pradisha da, e mbrakatazizo, e rutalade, a tero bradia, a zano pradi le tozaza, e rosha galada. Now give God thanks. Give him the glory. Let him hear your voice now. Let's thank him. He has heard us and he has turned all our new covers into signs of wonders. And in Jesus' name we are praying. Please be seated. From glory to glory. We shall be praying and we shall be praying in this manner. Father, in the name of Jesus. We decree judgment against all the gods of the land and all satanic manipulations targeted at stalling the growth of this church, resulting in the invasion of multitudes in all our forthcoming services. We take our anchor scripture from Exodus chapter 12 and verse 12. And the key there is I will execute judgment against all the gods of Egypt. I am the Lord. Let's rise up and lift up our voice, crying to God for vengeance against all the gods of the land. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree judgment against all the gods of the land and all satanic manipulations targeted as stalling the growth of this church, resulting in invasion of multitudes in our forthcoming services. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree judgment upon all the gods of the land and every satanic manipulation, all the satanic influences, every satanic setup against the growth of this church, every device of the enemy out to store the continuous growth of this church and let it result in the invasion of multitude in all our forthcoming services. Father, we decree in the name that is above all name, judgment upon all the gods of the land, every satanic manipulation, we command that in the name of Jesus, it comes to an end, every satanic manipulation that is out to store the continuous growth of the faith tabernacle. Father, we decree, let them be judged today. Let your judgment come upon them. Let it be speedy in the name of Jesus. Let it be swift in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we decree that in the name of Jesus, judgment will be executed on all the gods of the land and every satanic manipulation out to store the continuous growth of the faith tabernacle. And Lord, that judgment will result in multitudes gathering into the church. May superior, you can pray in the Holy Ghost. Lift up your voice, cry to the Lord. Jesus said, you shall cry for vengeance. Lift up your voice. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree judgment upon all the gods of the land. We decree judgment upon all satanic manipulation that is targeted as stalling the growth of the church. 
Father, we decree, let them be subdued. Let their power be broken. Merusagaba, empresesosia, malatamata, empretesosia. Father, we decree, in the name of Jesus, let judgment come on all the gods of the land and every satanic manipulation, whatever the devil may have put in place to store the continuous growth of the faith of miracle. Father, we decree judgment and let the result be an invasion of multitudes into all our services. Henceforth, Merusepharia, Balatosia, somebody's prayer, lift up your voice, Merusia, pray with intensity, Merusatamalia, Epanataroa, Azeketosia, Belosemuria, Andabaria, Zepanala, Zepregedesia, Father, we call in the name, above our name, the name that guarantees answer. And we're asking for judgment for all the gods of the land. Every satanic manipulation against the continuous growth of the church. Daddy will decree, let the judgment be swift. Let it be instant. And let it result in invasion of the faith tabernacle with multitudes of men and women and children in all our services. All our Sunday services are full. The end is overflowing in the name of Jesus. Let's lift up our hands, begin to give God thanks. You can do that well in the Holy Ghost. Le preketezua in barishiga. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Please, you may take your seat. Shout glory. Very shortly, we shall rise up and say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Let the Holy Ghost grant supernatural utterance to every foot soldier on the go for Christ today, leading to massive salvation of souls. The scripture says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 1, Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of God may have a free course and be glorified even as it is among you. Shall we therefore rise on our feet, lift your voice to heaven and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, let the Holy Ghost grant supernatural utterance to every food soldier on the go for Christ today, leading to massive salvation of souls. Is somebody praying this morning? Lift your voice to heaven. They that seek him early shall find him. Let us lift up our voices early morning for every food soldier that will be going across Lagos and its environs today. In the name of Jesus, Father, let the Holy Ghost Grand supernatural utterance, seasoned words that will touch the hearts of men, bringing them to Christ. Give unto all the full soldiers today in the name of Jesus. Utterances like the angels that cannot be resisted. Give to every full soldier today across our harvest field in the name of Jesus. Malaysia Kotakata, Enkraba Shandala Balaba, Le Repo Zakata. Is somebody praying? Pray with passion and intensity. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the Holy Ghost grant supernatural utterance to every full soldier on the go for Christ today, leading to massive salvation of souls all across Lagos, all across Utter, all the interiors, all the environment. Holy Ghost. Put your word, the right word, that will enforce salvation of souls into the mouth of every full soldier. And we go for it today in the name of Jesus. Maresata, malakarabalaba, leruja, leruja, leruja. Lift your voice. Let God hear your voice this morning. Mazekete, Father, in the name of Jesus. And unmovable in my still worship, so as not to miss my reward. First Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 58, the word says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abandoned in the work of the Lord. For as much as you know 
that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. You are sure that you know that your labor is not in vain and you need the help of the Holy Ghost. Rise in your faith without understanding and let it up our voice to heaven and ask for the revelation of the word. Father, by the revelation of your word, empower me to be steadfast and unmovable in my stewardship so as not to miss my reward. You are praying for yourself this time. Lift up your voice. There's a reward for you in God. But you need the revelation of the world to be self-motivated, to be self-encouraged, to be self-energized. Lift up your voice in the name of Jesus. Worship. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask this morning that by the revelation of your word, empower me to be steadfast, to be unmovable in my still worship so as not to miss my reward. In the name of Jesus, I want to have the revelation that my labor in the Lord is not even in the From glory to glory, shortly we shall be rising up to praise saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, let the Holy Ghost come down as a mighty rushing wind, drafting unprecedented multitudes into this church this coming Sunday. Shall we believe in Amen. Amen. Numbers chapter 11 and verse 31, God was speaking, says, There went forth a wind from the Lord and brought quails from the sea. And it was so much like it is journey round about the camp and two cubits high. God will bring quails of men this coming Sunday to faith tabernacle in Jesus' name. Please rise up on your feet. Let's begin to pray in faith. Lift up your voice to the Lord. Remember, this is prayer warfare. No silent prayer. Lift up your voice to the Lord and begin to call upon his name. Let God hear your voice and remain focused. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the Holy Ghost come down as a mighty rushing wind. Lord, all across our harvest field of Lagos, our harvest field of Fata, our harvest field all over and even beyond, let the Holy Ghost come down as a mighty rushing wind. All across our harvest field, Drafting on presidential multitudes of people, men and women, young and old, bringing in all presidential multitudes of people into faith tabernacle next tomorrow Sunday, turning Canaan land into a city without walls for multitudes of men and women and vehicles in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh God, we call upon you this early morning. You said if we ask anything according to your will, you hear us. Oh, Lord God of heaven, we pray this morning. Let the Holy Ghost come down as a mighty Russian wind. Let the Holy Ghost come down as a mighty Russian wind. Let the Holy Ghost come down as a mighty Russian wind all across our harvest field of Lagos, of Ota, and all of his environs and even beyond. 
drafting in unprecedented multitudes of people into Faith Tabernacle next tomorrow, Sunday, turning Canaan land into a city without walls for multitudes of men and women in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Are you still praying? Let God hear your voice. Pray, 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 pray. This is prayer warfare. Prayer. Push your prayer through right now in the Holy Ghost. Few moments left. Aroma Kotado Babori Magolia. Arama Kotada. Aroma Golia. Araba Kolia. Arababa Lakotaria. Amogashota. Abroba Koshea. Begin to thank God right now for answered prayers. Lift up your voice and lift up your hands to the Lord. Father, we thank you. We give you praise and glory. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Shout a louder amen. Please be seated. Shout glory. glory. In this covenant hour prayer, it is testimony time. <clears throat> Number one, total deliverance from bondages via kingdom stewardship. I joined this commission in 2006, but wasn't fully committed. I suffered from spiritual husband, frustration, oppressions, generational causes, and monitoring spirits. Also, I was not stable spiritually. I cried and cried to no avail. However, during the Operation Rescue 2015, through the help of the Holy Spirit, I decided to pray and fast all through. I also engaged in soul winning and have not stopped engaging since then. In addition, I engage in praising God daily. Consequently, God visited me on the night of October 25th, 2015. And also, during the first two operations of 2016, now I am totally delivered from all satanic manipulations and molestation. Put your hands together for Jesus. Also, spiritual. That is a testifier. Put your hands together for Jesus. Number two, miracle job via kingdom engagement. I've been looking for a good job since the year 2012. I got small jobs that frustrated me, but I put my trust in God, though it was not easy. However, when the wonder double faces began, I engaged fully. When Operation Bring Many Agenda ended, my God dazed me. I was invited for an interview for a very good job. And out of almost 20 applicants, only three were chosen. And I was number one. I give God all the glory. Ayobami Awowoye is the testifier. Put your hands together for Jesus as we rise on our feet to celebrate the doer of these testimonies. What a marvelous God, what a marvelous God, He has done marvelous things for me. What a powerful God, what a marvelous, He said to do marvelous things again. Marvelous God, what a marvelous God, marvelous, He's so marvelous God. Yeah. 
Lift your hand to heaven, everybody, and let's begin to give God thanks. Give him praise, give him glory, give him honor. All adoration. Father, we give you thanks and we give you praise. Appreciate him for the privilege of standing in his presence. Thank him for the access to answers to our prayers. Give him thanks and praise him this morning. Father, your doings are marvelous in our eyes. We give you the praise. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. You are worthy of all the praise and all the glory. Father, we give you thanks and we give you all the praise. Now begin to ask the Lord to speak to you this morning. For all the people gathered early in the morning for to hear him. Lord, we are here to hear you this morning. Speak to us directly. Let your word come forth directly. Let it come clearly. Let it come distinctly. Father, this morning we come before you thanking you for the privilege we have to stand in your presence we thank you because we know that you have brought us here today for an encounter with you as you unveil yourself by your word to us open new chapters of glory to every life in the name of jesus and be enabled thank you mighty god in jesus precious name we pray somebody believe god say loud amen, amen. give jesus a big hand and please be seated in the presence of the Lord. And we have come to understand that the year 2016 is a highly prophetic year. God speaking in clear details concerning the year has said that it is a year of personal responsibility for maximum delivery. Therefore, it means that it is a season in which responsibilities must be located and engaged if profitability will be accessed. And that is why in this highly prophetic season, it becomes critical to identify the responsibilities that God has highlighted concerning each one of us in this season. And this morning we are looking at yet another area that is a focus of God in this year. 
And that is the fact that every believer is ordained a soul winner. Every believer is ordained a soul winner. According to scriptures, this is made abundantly clear. And we want to look at this subject under four distinct dimensions. Number one is we must recognize that soul winning is not a calling or a gift, but a commandment. It is not a calling or a gift or a commandment. And by calling we mean it's not a special calling or a gift, but it is rather a commandment. In the book of John chapter 15 and verse 16, the Bible says, You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and I have ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain. And whatsoever you shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it unto you. You are not the one who chose me. I selected you. So you won't tell me why I chose you. I will tell you why I chose you. And I chose you that you may go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. And whatsoever you ask the Father in my name, he will give it unto you. Jesus was showing very clearly that soul winning is a commandment. In the book of Mark chapter 16, and in verse 15, the Bible says to us there, Jesus speaking said, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. That's a commandment. Go into all the world. Jesus was giving a clear commandment. In Matthew chapter 28, beginning from verse 18 to 21, we'll see again the commandment of Jesus there. And Jesus came and spoke, saying, All power in heaven and earth is given unto me. He said in verse 19, Go ye therefore and preach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. So it is a commandment. Every child of God is commanded by God to go so with it. Number two thing we discover is that every believer has a ministry of reconciliation. How do we know this? In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, from verse 17 down to verse 21, the Bible says to us, if any man be in Christ Jesus, is a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Now concerning this new creature, it says all things are of God, who has reconciled us unto himself by Jesus Christ, and has given unto us the ministry of reconciliation. So everyone that is reconciled to God is given a ministry of reconciliation. Everyone that is a new creature by Christ Jesus is given a ministry of reconciliation. So one ministry that every believer has is the ministry of reconciliation. Every single believer has been ordained by God to operate in this ministry of reconciliation. If you believe me, say loud, amen. The Bible says in John chapter 15, verse 1 and verse 2, John 15, verses 1 and verse 2, it says, I am the true vine, and my father is the husband man. He said, every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth much more fruit. So according to scripture, we are made to see very clearly that everyone that is ordained as a child of God has been granted by God the ministry of reconciliation. Number three truth that we need to capture this morning is this. That bearing much fruit glorifies God. And when we glorify God, he advances our level of glory. Bearing much fruit glorifies God and when we glorify God, he advances our level of glory. John chapter 15 verse 8. Herein is my father glorified that you bear much fruit. Herein is my father glorified that you bear much fruit. And the scripture says that the, in, the multitude of, in, the, in the multitude of the people is the horn of the king. Proverbs 14 20, 28. And anyone that honors God secures God's honor. The Bible says that in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 2 and verse 30. So anyone that is in search of honor can only capture that honor by honoring God. Unto God, we are glorifying God. And you cannot glorify God and be a victim of shame. Everyone this season, as you partake of the ingathering of the souls that God has given to us, I see the that when so when it becomes a by all means task, it delivers supernaturally, both for the kingdom and for the engaging individuals. When it becomes a by all means task, 
the way to make the most of engagement is to make it a by all means task the bible says in first corinthians chapter 9 verse 16 and verse 17 it says to us there paul speaking he said for though i preach the gospel i have nothing to glory of for necessity is laid upon me yea woe unto me if i preach not the gospel that's by all means by all means the scripture says in the book of john chapter 12 verse 23 down to verse 26 jesus speaking there said that the so hour for the son of man to be glorified has come but except a corn of wheat fall to the ground and die it abides alone but if it dies it will bring forth much fruit it says he that loveth his life shall lose it but the one that hated his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal verse 26 he said if any man serve me this way i'm talking about let him follow me and where i am there shall my servant be and if any man serve me like this him will my father honor if you want to get the most out of it it must be a by all means task and please hear this there is nothing that can equal the honor that comes from god in john chapter 5 and verse 44 the bible says that ye are they which seek honor one of another and you seek not the honor that cometh from god only there is a honor that only god can give no matter how much respect men accord to you until god gives you honor you don't have real honor but when a man is honored by god it can't be dishonored by men today i see each one of us receiving the grace to engage on to this point where we enjoy the honor of god somebody believe me say loud amen. amen in psalm 126 verses 1 verses 4 to 6 in particular he said turn again our captivity as the streams of the south he said they that sow in tears that give their all to god is with them in other words every time you give all to god you make it by all means suddenly you find god turning your story around i see that becoming somebody's experience here i said i see that becoming somebody's experience here when you engage to the point of mockery you have engaged to the point of making when you engage to the point of mockery where people are wondering is it only you what is wrong why is this person going this far you engage to the point of mockery you have engaged to the point of making in second corinthians chapter 4 verse 17 the bible says it said but our light affliction which is but for a moment it worketh for us a far exceeding and eternal weight of glory every time you seem to be engaging to the point where it looks like it is afflicting you it looks like it is taking much from you god said it is working for you and it is working for you a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory in other words the effect of your engagement will not only be felt in time but also in eternity i see that becoming somebody's experience what is god saying to us therefore the task of soul winning is a commandment the task of soul winning is every believer's ministry our bearing of fruit glorifies god and when we give it a by all means approach we have a sure outcome of testimonies as individuals and as a church i see god embedded upon each one of us grace the grace required to give it an by all means approach in order to see the best of god answer for us why not rise on your feet with me this morning and pray from the depth of your heart for yourself father i receive grace to give so with it a by all means approach in order to see the best of god lift your voice and pray Receive grace from God to give it a by all means approach. receive that grace to give it a by all means approach a by all means approach lord i receive your grace this morning 
let it be made available for me father thank you blessed be your holy name in jesus precious name we have prayed that grace will answer for us in the name of jesus christ all through this season as we engage that by all means approach we shall begin to walk in supernatural order of blessings in the name of jesus somebody believe we say a loud amen i said somebody believe we say a loud amen well god has opened up the day for us again a day full of opportunities every time god gives us time gives us a new day it means he has given us a new opportunity so today presents to each one of us a brand new opportunity to engage productively in prayers to engage productively in soul winning and as we do so i see god rewarding each one of us not only abundantly but also speedily amen. somebody believe me say loud amen. amen let's be reminded all of us who are on the line for miracle jobs as was prophesied to each one of us let us go forth on behalf of jesus because no one can be engaged by him and be rejected by men as we go engaging for jesus today be expectant because god shall be bringing you favor with men in the name of jesus christ this morning we have our morning raid taking place at 8 a.m in the morning all our district centers and then evening raid taking place at 5 p.m in the morning at 5 p.m in the afternoon and those of us who are on our way to work we go raiding on the way to work on our way back from work we are raiding on the way back from work and all we are simply doing is glorifying jesus and as we do so i see him honoring us in return in the name of jesus christ let's also be reminded that tomorrow covenant hour of prayer is going to be 6 a.m in the morning we are gathered together before we go for our saturday morning raid and as we engage on behalf of jesus i see each one of us returning abundantly blessed in the name of the lord jesus christ every one subject that people have used to mock you every subject maybe they say it's not married yet they say she has no child yet they say the business is not working for him career he has been stagnated for long whatever is a subject of your life that anybody has been using to mock you they say he's been sick all this while whatever that subject may be by the power of god in this season that same subject shall turn to a subject of celebration in the name of jesus christ that same subject shall be turned to a subject of celebration and for those of us engaging on the line for miracle jobs there are many of you that even before the day concludes the call for your miracle jobs the sms for your miracle jobs will be landing with you in the name of jesus christ so shall it be for you in jesus precious name we have prayed lift your hand to heaven and give god thanks appreciate him glorify him is worthy of praise father we thank you we give you the praise and the glory and the honor and the adoration we thank you lord blessed be your holy name blessed be your holy name blessed be. it is done in jesus precious name let's share the goodness of the lord together surely god's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life We thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for the gift of life. It is the living that will praise you as we do this day. Lord, we thank you. Let's exalt his name together. Let's magnify him. Let's give him the glory that is due to his name. Let's worship him in the beauty of his holiness. Father, we thank you. 
Lord, we worship you in the beauty of your holiness. Father, we thank you. You are faithful. We thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for your astrachan that doeth great wonders. We thank you for massive salvation of soul from Monday to this day. Lord, we thank you for guiding us once again in your presence this morning. Father, we thank you for your presence, thy sweetness of joy in your right hand, thy pleasure forevermore. I want us to lift up our voice, begin to commit this meeting before God. Lord, I'm here to be empowered on the mountain of prayer. Holy Spirit, help me upon this mountain to pray and supplicate with the energy of the Spirit from beginning to the end of this covenant hour of prayer before the outreach. Lord, and do me afresh. Empower me, anoint me afresh this morning that my going out will be great. Mano Sakabara Lale, Rina Sozia Labara, lift up your voice. They go from strength to strength. Everyone that appeared before God in Zion, speak to the Lord. Mano Shagabarade, Zazi, Letolia Parada, Mano Satelia Barata Sizia. I will not return the same way I came into this covenant hour of prayer this morning. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let's welcome the praise team. Hallelujah. Asians of day. As old as you are. God on our me, marching through the land. Deliverance is the song, healing in their hand. Everlasting joy, life forevermore. In this army, I've got a fight. In this army, I've got a fight. God's got an army, marching through the land.
this army I've got a party. In this army I've got a party. God's got an army, yeah. We're marching through the land. Lee Brown sees the sun. Healing in hands. Everlasting joy. Like forevermore. In this army I've got a party. In this army I've got a party. When the saints go marching in, when the saints go marching in, say, Lord, I love to be in the number. Oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, when the saints go marching in, Lord, I want to be in the number. When the saints go marching, oh when the saints, oh when the saints go marching, in. oh when the saints go marching, in. Lord I want to be in the number. When the saints go marching, in. from glory to glory, you may please be seated in God's presence this morning. We take our next first prayer this morning, saying, Father, by the mystery of the Passover blood, let every captive ordained for eternal life during this prophetic season be released and established in this church. Out chapter 30, verse 48 says, As many as were ordained for eternal life believed. Shall we start to our feet, lifting up our voice unto God? Say, Father, by the mystery of the Passover blood, let every captive ordained for eternal life during this prophetic season be released and established in the church. Father, in the name of Jesus, and by the mystery of the Passover blood, let every captive ordain for eternal life during this prophetic season be released and established in this church. Are you praying? Is God hearing your voice this morning? Say, Father, by the mystery of the Passover blood, let every captive ordained for eternal life during this prophetic season be released and established in the church. Pray audibly, engaging your heart passionately. Zembala tea sizanata, alamia sibala etete, mali ekototomia. Father, by the mystery of the Passover blood, let every captive ordained for eternal life be released and established in the church. Pray, pray intensely from the depth of your heart. Let ever register your voice this morning. Zamala Zie Pali Ga Zelie Camino Toshiata Belie Ketalo Mi Zala Keratosia Pray in the Holy Ghost Pray with your understanding Say Father by the mystery of the pass of a blow Leia Zane Katatalo let every captive ordained for eternal life be raised and established in the church. Binotos, Anetale, 
Azelie Protonicia, Father, by the mystery of the Passover blood, let every captive or day for eternal life be released and established in the church. Are you still praying? Are you still engaging from the depth of your heart in the Holy Ghost and with your understanding? Zaria Bali Ekotosia Mazi Ria Garubeliata Zalia Bototonia Malatari Zia Galatari Avalia Patea Father by the mystery of the Passover blood let every captive ordained for eternal life be released and established in the church be a zia garu va father we thank you give god the glory that is due unto him in the name of jesus christ we are praying shall glory we may please be seated From glory to glory, in a moment we shall rise up to pray this morning, and when we rise, we shall be saying, Father, we decree your vengeance upon every agent of the devil, resisting the continuous growth of this church, and let the effect of this be practically evident in our services from henceforth. Taking our cue from Isaiah chapter 63, verse 4, the Bible says, For the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of my redeem is come. If you believe in this prayer this morning, I'd like you to rise up on your feet and begin to place the mud on heaven, calling on your father, and you are saying, Father, we decree your vengeance upon every agent of the devil, resisting the continuous growth of this church, every agent of the devil resisting the continuous growth of this church, we come against you in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to decree the vengeance of God upon every agent of the devil whether secret agents whether open agents no matter their schemes no matter their manipulations no matter their gathering as long as it's against the continuous growth of this church let's begin to decree judgment upon them this morning in the name of jesus this is a time to decree the vengeance of god upon them this morning lift up your voices lift up your voices and begin to place demand on heaven Somebody is praying this morning, and you are saying, Father, we decree your vengeance, your vengeance, your vengeance upon every agent of the devil, whether small or great, that is against the continuous growth of this church. The church of Christ is ordained for continuous growth. The church of Christ is ordained for ever-increasing growth. Anyone that is against the continuous growth of this church, we begin to place judgment upon them this morning. Somebody is lifting up his voice this morning. You are talking to your father this morning. You are praying in faith this morning. And you are praying from the depth of your heart this morning. And you are saying, Father, we decree your vengeance. Your vengeance upon every agent of the devil. Upon every agent of the devil. Resisting the continuous growth of this church. Father, we decree your vengeance today. Today is the day of vengeance for them. Father, every agent of the devil resisting the continuous growth of this church, we decree vengeance upon them this morning. Father, we decree your vengeance upon them this morning, upon every agent of the devil resisting the continuous growth of this church. Father, your word says that you will build your church and the gates of hell cannot come against the growth of the church. And that is why we are praying this morning and we are praying in the name of Jesus. We are praying with our understanding this morning and we also pray in the spirit. And we are saying, Father, we decree your vengeance upon every agent of the devil resisting the continuous growth of this church. Lord God Almighty, let the effect of this be practically evident in our services from henceforth. 
Lord God Almighty, we are praying that the effect of our prayer this morning will be evident in all our services from henceforth, in our midweek services, in our Sunday services, in all our gatherings. The effect of this prayer this morning shall be practically evident. Somebody is praying this morning, you are praying in the spirit this morning, and you are praying in your understanding this morning, you are releasing, you are decreeing the judgment of God upon every agent of the devil that may want to resist the continuous growth of this church. Landia, la cosa que 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 gaso tali cararabo satalia. Lande caro roco roco do guda cate gasekeria. Let them be broken into pieces this morning. Every agent of the devil, let them be broken into pieces this morning. Father, we are decreed in the name of Jesus. Father, we are decreed your judgment, your vengeance upon every agent of the devil that may want to resist the continuous growth of this church. Lord God Almighty, that is our prayer this morning. Let the effect of this prayer this morning be practically evident in all our services from henceforth in the multitude of people, multitude of men and women that will be gathering in the mighty name of Jesus to worship you. Liga dozo tolo brigada. Landa ko sotolia le praraba la kodo zikate le pregarabo shikaria lava. Let's begin to appreciate God this morning for the answers to our prayers. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Please, you may be seated. From glory to glory, next we shall rise to pray. Say, Father, let the Holy Ghost direct. All our new converts and new members and those in possession of our gospel tracts to this church as their city of refuge and thereby abide here. Let's say amen. John chapter 16, verse 13 to 15. When he, the spirit of truth, shall come, he will guide you into all truth. He will show you things to come. He will glorify me and receive of me and show it unto you. Shall we rise and begin to pray in the name of Jesus Christ? Father, let the Holy Ghost direct all our new converts, uh, new members, and those in possession of our gospel trust to this church as their city of refuge and thereby abide here in the name of Jesus. Someone is praying. Let the Lord hear your voice. As you pray earnestly, fervently, Father, let the Holy Ghost direct all our new converts, new members, and those in possession of our gospel trust to this church as their city of refuge and thereby abide here in the name of Jesus. Let the Lord hear your voice. Pray earnestly, pray fervently, pray believing. Pray with expectation. Father, let the Holy Ghost direct all our new converts and new members and those in possession of our gospel trust to this church as their city of refuge and make them to abide here in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Are you praying this prayer? Let the Lord hear your voice as you pray earnestly, as you pray fervently. As we pray confidently, Father, let the Holy Ghost direct all our new converts, our new members, and those in possession of our gospel trust to this church as their city of refuge and make them to abide here in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you praying? Are you praying? Let the Lord hear your voice. Let the Lord hear your voice. Let the Lord hear your voice of faith as you pray earnestly, as you pray confidently, as you pray fervently, as you pray rewardably. Father, let the Holy Ghost direct all our new converts, new members, and those in possession of our gospel trust to this church as their city of refuge and make them to abide here in the name of Jesus. Are you praying? 
Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? Let God hear your voice. Let him hear your voice as you pray with faith. Pray from your heart. Pray from your heart with faith. Believe in God for an answer uh, this morning. Father, let the Holy Ghost direct all new converts and new members and those in possession of our gospel trust to this church faith tabernacle as the city of refuge and abide here in the name of Jesus. Someone is praying. Lerush alo protano zizaradi. Ekotozia le shabarado. Emparada le tozia. Empapano le kotazia. Radishalaba en tozuzia. Abarakato zero shambarata lade. Inketo radiale shabarata. Azaro pradilo parande. Ekletozia le sha. Babaro erosiane. Enkledo bradia ratezuzia. Ero barate. Abale to prodia le sha. Ante rodiano. Ezugarate. Emprokanano. Embarata. Azaro sha deklotara barota. Emprokotozaradi. Entaradia. Arush alaporando. Ezezerani. Ikla parada. Yeto palanteza. Erusha la barada. Akato pradia. Eroshaga. Yes. We serve a faithful God. He has heard us. Let's thank him. Let's celebrate him. Father, we give you praise. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Please take your seat. Shout glory. In a short while, rise on our feet. At this time, we want to be saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, continue to send us the rain of your crowd gathering world that will eventually empty the whole city into this church. Tomorrow, Sunday, Acts chapter 13, verse 44, the Bible says, The next Sabbath day, almost the whole city gathered together to hear the word of the Lord. That will be our story in Faith Abandonable tomorrow, Sunday. If you believe that, jump on your feet, lift up your voice to heaven, and let's pray that prayer this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, continue to send on the rain of your crowd gathering wall that will eventually empty the whole city into this church. Tomorrow Sunday, lift up your voice and let's ask for the rain of a cloud garden wall. The rain of cloud garden wall that the Lord will continue to send on that rain in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That we empty eventually the altar and its environs. That we empty eventually Lagos and its environs into this church tomorrow Sunday. Ask for the rain of the wall of the cloud garden wall this morning. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, somebody lifting up his voice to heaven, and you are praying that prayer from the depth of your heart. Our Father, this morning, in the name of Jesus, we lift our voice to you, and we ask that you continue to send us the rain of your crowd, God, and world, that we eventually empty the whole city into this church tomorrow, Sunday. Le Talaba. Le ketesia, le riagaga, la yagade, le sataria manto, le yaga, le yeketesia, le yagaga, la yagadosia. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we lift our voice to you that you will continue to send us the rain of your cloud garden wall that will eventually empty the whole city into this church tomorrow Sunday. Le zia gadori amanda lebaya. You have done it before. You will do it again. Le zia gaya manto sotoria la yaka teke le yeke pokoto eria gadaya mazotoria. Do it again, O God. Do it again, O God. Do it again, O God. Come tomorrow Sunday, Lord. Send on the rain of your crowd garden wall that will eventually empty. Faith that will eventually empty or turn his environs, Lagos and his environs into faith tabernacle. Come tomorrow Sunday in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's cut a real abaya gaya ga mantala poto suriaga le yeke te le ziaga mayaka te le yeke yeke ziaga doria. Oh God, we lift our voice to you this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus that you continue to send out the name of your crowd garden wall that we eventually. Let's cut empty the whole city. Let's see Gororia into the church tomorrow Sunday. Somebody bring that prayer this morning with all understanding, with all see, with all faith this morning. Let's see a Gadaria Labosoria, La Yakata Yakate, Manto Zuzu, Ria 
Gada, Mayakate, Le Yeke Tizia, Eriaka Kaka, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Las Cantaria Matelebo, Le Yeke Teke Teke, Le Zia Gado, Eriaka Talaba, Mazon Toria, La Yaga, La Yaga, La Yaga, pray that prayer from the depth of your heart this morning, Le Zia Godoria, our Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we ask that you continue to send us the rain of your crowd, God, the world. That we could eventually empty the whole city into this church tomorrow Sunday. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we are asking this morning that you will continue to send us the of your crowd, God, the world, in the name of Jesus Christ, that we eventually empty the whole city into this church tomorrow Sunday. Riakadosa, Mayaga Deke, Lezia Katuzu, Riakaka, Masanta Labaya Gadaria, Le Yekete Ziza, Le Riagaga, Manturi Yaga Yagaya, Manta Kateke, Le Yege, Zeriagaga, Manto Zuzuzia. Begin to appreciate him. He has had us. Thank you, gracious Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Let's welcome the priest. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. Walking in the light of God, it is a great thing, great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great, oh great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great, a great thing to serve the Lord. Walking in the light, oh it is a great thing, a blessing to serve the Lord. It's a privilege to serve the Lord. It's a blessing to serve the Lord. To serve the Lord, walking in the light. Oh, it is a great thing, a great thing to serve the Lord. It's a great thing to serve the Lord. It's rewarding to serve the Lord. It's rewarding to serve the Lord, walking in the light. Oh, it is a great thing. It's a great thing, a great great thing to serve the Lord. Walking in the light, oh yes, walking in the light, walking in the light, singing it is a great thing, a great thing to serve the Lord, it's a great thing to serve the Lord, a great thing to serve the Lord, oh yes, walking in the light, it is a great thing, what a privilege to serve. Walking for my Jesus, oh, I will keep going on the way for Jesus. I will keep going on the way for Jesus. Walking in the light, I will walk, I will walk, oh, I will keep moving on. 
Jesus, a big hand as we get to our seat. Hallelujah. From glory to glory. We're going to rise up very shortly again to say, Father, in the name of Jesus, let the master ripple angel take over our harvest field with his sharp sickle, thereby reaping multitudes into the kingdom and into this church tomorrow's Sunday. Say amen. In Revelation chapter 14 and verse 14, scripture says, he said, behold, a white cloud and upon the cloud sat the son of man and with a golden crown and in his hand with a sharp sickle. Rise upon your faith with me this morning with faith in your heart. You are saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, let the master reaper angel take over our harvest field with his sharp sickle, thereby reaping multitudes into this church tomorrow Sunday. Are you praying? Lift up your voice. Somebody's praying right now. You are saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, let the master reaper angel take over our harvest field with his sharp sickle, thereby reaping multitudes into the kingdom and into this church tomorrow Sunday. That's our prayer line for the hour. I somebody pray right now. Lift up your voice. Ensure your voice is registered in heaven this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the master repair angel take over our harvest field in Lagos. Take over our harvest field in Ota and its environment. Oh, reaping the overripe harvest into the kingdom this morning, even for our Sunday services tomorrow. Lift up your voice. Nakutambrati, A.K. Totaliado. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are saying this morning that the master ripple angel take over, take over our harvest field in Lagos. Take over our harvest field in Nota and its environment. Oh, thereby repay the overripe harvest into the kingdom and into service tomorrow lift up your voice is god truly hearing your voice this morning is somebody praying ensure you are praying aloud this morning Ambo leleko ambrade lekotambra Father in the name of Jesus let the master repair angel take over our harvest field with a sharp sickle 
thereby reaping multitudes into the kingdom and into this church tomorrow Sunday. Nerosiala brother, elata tarosia, mando shayaba, aroda brode bola brode, ezete ketealo, baro tayaba, maroda, barabale brother, oh, the master repalangers, take over our harvest faith, take over harvest faith, take over harvest faith, take over harvest faith in Lagos, Ota, Odia, by reaping multitudes into the kingdom and into this church tomorrow Sunday. Is somebody truly praying? Is God hearing your voice? Now begin to power your prayer home this morning, even in the language of the Holy Ghost. Nashia Lakatayaba. Hashialodo Sotamba Etu Sotamba Eleketiala Balade Elekete Kota Baroshialo Epundaba Retata Diaba Zondaba Le Labosha Eto Cambrada Gelado Shiala Ato La Protanda Garaba Eto Shadagaraba Habro de Lebo Rata Shadagarabolobo Enda Shiala Balada Ketaya Eto Taba Basose, Zealo, Panto, Shiala, Brava. Lift up your two hands, celebrate Him, appreciate Him, give Him all the glory. God has had us this morning. Lord, we give you praise. It is done in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, you may be seated. Shout glory. Shortly again, we're going to be rising up on our feet and we're going to be saying, Father, in the name of Jesus. Grant us fair weather before, during, and after our services tomorrow Sunday, resulting in the comfort of all worshippers. Can I hear a big amen? amen? We are taking our bearing from Job chapter 37, verse 22. The Bible says, Fair weather cometh out of the north with God is terrible majesty without understanding. I want us to rise up as one man this morning, lift up your voice to heaven, and begin to pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. Grant us fair weather before, during, and after our services tomorrow Sunday, resulting in the comfort of all worshippers. Ensure that your voice is registered in heaven at a time like this. Lift up your voice to heaven and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, grant us fair weather before, during, and after our services Tomorrow Sunday, resulting in the comfort of all worshippers. Is somebody praying? Is somebody engaging? Is somebody traveling? Lift up your voice and pray. Cry unto your heavenly Father this morning. Demand the release of fair weather. Tomorrow Sunday, in all our five services, Lerasa Terra Shaga, bringing about the comfort of all worshippers. Is somebody praying? Pray, 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 pray. From the depth of your heart, place a demand on our heavenly Father this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, grant us fair weather before, during, and after our services tomorrow Sunday, resulting in the comfort of all worshippers. Le Bataraja Kara Sata. We understand from scriptures that fair weather cometh out of the north, the dwelling place of God. With God is terrible majesty. Is somebody praying? Is somebody traveling? Lift up your voice and cry unto your heavenly Father this morning. Lift up your voice and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, grant us a fair weather before, during, and after our services. Tomorrow Sunday, here in Faith Tabernacle, Kenalanota, resulting in the comfort of all worshippers. Lift up your voice and pray. Lika Pasatariala, Jarazatag, Ela Zebra Tag, Ela Pacoso to Zebra Tala Shaga, E Gabagara Saga, Raga Saga Taga, Ela Sera Shaga. Father, we recognize you have the capacity to cause rain to fall in one city and not in another. Lift up your voice. Call upon your Father this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, grant us fair weather 
before, during, and after our services tomorrow Sunday resulted in the comfort of all worshipers. Rain shall never be a hindrance. Le kapa le rose kataga. Fair weather is a portion. Le kabra zori ala shaga. Is somebody engaging? Is somebody traveling? Lift up your voice and pray. La baza la shaga. E kapa le res. E la zera shaga. Bratori ala maza. E kapa le kozuzo zesa re la shabra. Le kapa le kozuto. Father, we ask. In that name that is above every other name, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, grant us fair weather before, during, and after our services tomorrow Sunday here in Faith Tabernacle, resulting in the comfort of all worshippers. Is somebody still praying? Lift up your voice. Power your prayer in the spirit. Lift up your voice and pray in the Holy Ghost. Le Kabaria Jaraza Taga. Le Cabra Zanda, E La Suze, Saraja, Ze Blatu, E Capa Lecose, Le Cazataga, Father, in the name of Jesus, Le Caba Lerose, grant us favor before, during, and after our services tomorrow Sunday, Le Casuri Alla Shaga, resulting in the comfort of all worshippers. Lift up your voice, begin to appreciate Him. Begin to give him the glory that is due to him. Father, we thank you. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. You may please be seated. Shout glory. Very shortly we shall be rising up to say, Father, by the blood of Jesus, we decree heat free movement for all worshippers in and out of church tomorrow Sunday. Scriptures makes us understand from Psalm 105, verses 13 to 15. When the people of God went from one nation to the other in the wilderness, kings were rebuked for their sake, and they became touched not for evil. Therefore shall we rise on our feet, lift your voice to heaven, and say, Father, by the blood of Jesus, we decree his free movement for all worshippers in and out of church, Tomorrow Sunday, make sure you are saying this prayer. Heat free movement in the name of Jesus. Maleso kata kata kata. They overcame him by the blood. And when I see the blood, the destroyer passed over every worshiper from far, from near, that shall be coming, gathering as the faith tabernacle cannot land tomorrow. We put the mark of the blood upon everyone. By the blood of Jesus, they are exempted from evil. By the blood of Jesus, they are exempted from accidents. By the blood of Jesus, they are exempted from armed robbery attack. There shall be no evil. No evil shall befall any worshiper tomorrow in the name of Jesus. Is somebody praying for his free movements? Raka Sekota, Maliza Koshidaya, Enkrabaya Balabaya Balaba. Every demonic trap that has been set for any vehicle, for anyone, tomorrow, coming to Canaan land, we destroy them, we overturn them, we overcome them by the blood. In the name of Jesus, every demonic traffic jam, we scatter by the blood. In the name of Jesus, is somebody praying, pray with passion. Pray with intensity. By the blood of Jesus, we decree his free movement for all worshippers in and out of church tomorrow, Sunday. In the name of Jesus, as the people are living, their various homes, they are covered by the blood. In the name of Jesus, on the road, every vehicle, every bus, commercial, Private, tricycle, motorcycle, they are covered by the blood and exempted from breakdown, from accidents. In the name of Jesus, Malazatata, Ekrabo, Mashada, Enkosekete, Enkrababa, Malabayabalaba, whatever destroys on the road tomorrow will not locate any worshiper. In the name of Jesus, because the destroyer passed over when he saw the blood. 
Malaposada and Krabba Baba, Masekota. Make sure you're praying. Lift your voice, lift your voice. Cry to the Father by the blood of Jesus. We decree His free movement for all worshipers in and out of church tomorrow as the people are coming, as they abide in Canaan land, as they are returned. There shall be no evil reports. There shall be no delays on the road. In the name of Jesus. Father Lord, we decree his free movement for our worshipers by the blood. Everyone shall come safely. They shall dwell here safely. They shall return safely. In the name of Jesus. No hindrance on the road. No delays on the road. No vehicular breakdowns. In the name of Jesus. We say no. No to delays. No to accident. No to arm robbery. In the name of Jesus. Father. Father. We give you praise. We know the people shall come safely. They shall return safely. There shall be no traffic jam. There shall be no holdups. There shall be no evil. There shall be no accidents. There shall be free movement in and out. Father, we thank you for the answer. Glory be to your name, Mosai. In Jesus' name we pray. Please get seated. From glory to glory. Next we shall be rising up to pray. Saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, as we gather multitudes to our special anointing services tomorrow Sunday, grant every worshiper an encounter with your word for their desire turn around. Can somebody shout a believing amen? amen? And that begins with you in Jesus' name. In Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 8, God's word says, The Lord sent a word into Jacob, and it had lighted upon Israel. Please rise up on your feet, soldiers of Christ. Lift up your voice to the Lord. Remember when you pray, this is prayer warfare. So no silent prayer. Let heaven hear your voice right now. Be focused and let your heart be in what you are saying. Lift up your voice to the God that answers prayers. Remember you are praying the prayer that God must answer today. We are praying, same Father. In the name of Jesus, as we gather multitudes to our special anointing services tomorrow Sunday, grant every worshiper an encounter with your word for their desire to turn around. Let heaven hear your voice. Pray, 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 pray. Don't keep quiet. No silent prayer. Oh God, that answers prayers. We call upon you today in the name of Jesus the Christ as you gather multitudes, male and female, young and old, to our services tomorrow of anointing. Grant every worshiper, O oh Lord, an encounter with your word for their desire to turn around. Grant every worshiper, Lord, an encounter with your word for their desire to turn around. Are you praying at all? Is heaven hearing your voice? Remain focused. Let your heart be in what you are saying. No silent prayer. Lift up your voice together with the saints. Let heaven hear your voice right now. We are praying, Saint Father, in the name of Jesus the Christ, as you gather multitudes to our special anointed services tomorrow Sunday. Era Boba, Alega Toria, Amamala Katoria, Agoba Borima, Aga Galaya, Egreme Kosata, Eba Golima Kotaria. Grant every worshiper, young and old, male and female, Eramo Kato, Abroba Golia, Agara Bakua, an encounter, an encounter that they shall live to remember all the days of their lives, an encounter that they will not forget in a hurry. Eramo Katoria, Agagala Baria, Agoga Poria, with your word for their desire to turn around, changing their story, turning them to living proofs for you, magnet. Drawing people into your kingdom, Magosa Taria, Agala Babaria, Agogaloa, Makosa Taria, Agalaba. Are you still praying? Don't keep quiet, remain focused, lift up your voice, and pray to the God that answers prayer. 
you are praying the prayer that God must answer even today. Rabba Balaka, Egato Paria, Agola Makata, Ebro Makoshada, Alla Gadaba, Eramoma Logato Katoria, Araba Balabakoteria. Father, in the name of Jesus the Christ, as we gather multitudes tomorrow to our special anointing service, O oh God, Nekoteria, Ababara Makotaria, grant every worshiper an encounter, an encounter, an encounter that they will not forget in our hurry. Nekotaria, grant every worshiper, male and female, grant every worshiper, young and old, an encounter that they will need to remember with your word. Nekatoria, Agalaba, Ebro Makosheria. Nambo Babora Makota Dara for their desire to turn around. Erambo Katoria. Pray some more. Lift up your voice. Pray some more. Pray some more. Lift up your voice. Let your heart be what you are saying. Remain focused and let heaven hear you right now. And receive help from the altar of prayer from the Holy Ghost. Receive help on the altar of prayer from the Holy Ghost. Begin to pray right now in the Holy Ghost. Makotataya. Agagalaba. Brakosata, few moments more, lift up your voice in the Holy Ghost. Ragota, Abroba Boligam, Amakota Tayaga, Araba Balama, Ega Goria, Amamaragatata, Bebaroba Kosharia, Lakota, Abroba Bolia, Agarabato, Ebroma Koshada, Rakataba, Brambo Katodia. Begin to give thanks to God right now for answered prayers. Lift up your hands to the Lord. Wave it to him and give him praise and glory. Father, we thank you for answered prayers. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Shout it louder. Amen. Please be seated. From glory to glory. In this service, it is testimony time. Please listen to the following documented testimonies and be blessed. Number one, miracle job. I was dismissed from a financial institution in July 10, 2016. My wife and I prayed and appreciated God for the grace of life and decided it was time to attend Wolfby. So I enrolled for Wolfby July 2016 BCC. During a teaching on divine health, I got a revelation from Psalm 107 verse 20 about the sent word and this capacity to do all things my faith was up, and I took my clothes to the dry cleaner same day with the belief that I was resuming work on July 25, 2016. Miraculously, God dismantled joblessness cheaply. I got three different job offers. If it's for Jesus, make it bigger. Hallelujah. I had just a desk and a table where I was dismissed, but now... I am the acting general manager with people reporting to me. <laughs> Hallelujah. God has indeed changed my story. To him be all the glory. The testifier is Baba Tunde. Put your hands together for Jesus. <laughs> and number two, serving God pays the most. During the fourth phase of the Wonder Double Prophetic Agenda, I was sat. We served God by reaching out to souls and also engaging on the altar of prayers for the kingdom. During a service, the testimony of the healing of a woman with cysts was shared. I keyed into it and God healed me and made me pregnant. Today, he gave us a set of twins. <laughs> Hallelujah. And their names are David and Diamond. Indeed, serving God pays most. And God has chosen the bishop as the Moses of our time to deliver his people. God bless you so much, Papa. To God alone be all the glory. The testifier is Oyeye Alekwe. Please rise to your feet and lift up your hands to heaven and begin to give God thanks. Father, we thank you. Begin to thank him for the testimonies that we have heard this morning. These are clearly the doings of the Lord. Absolutely marvelous in our eyes. 
Let's give him thanks and praise him. Glorify the name of the Most High God. Our Father, we have come this morning to thank you. Thank you for your marvelous acts in our midst. Are you giving God thanks this morning? Let him hear the voice of your appreciation. Let him hear the voice of your thanksgiving. Lero katambra de ketelia barando shabra dia tanoba. Let him hear the voice of your appreciation. And let him hear the voice of your thanksgiving. Melo rabada kladiak taro brodiak kerianda radoko lo brodiak taladaba. Father, we give you praise and we give you thanks. Now let's begin to ask him to speak to us this morning by his word. Lord, speak to me this morning by your word. Transform me again by your word. Open my ear to hear you this morning. Father, we give you praise. Blessed be your holy name. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we have prayed. Father, we thank you for the prayers you have answered. Thank you for the testimonies we have heard. We thank you for the privilege we have to be in your presence again. We are asking that you speak directly to each one of us. By your word today, let everyone experience a change of level. We give you the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. And somebody believes, say a loud amen. amen. Give Jesus a big hand and please be seated in his presence. Shout glory. glory. We began looking at the line of exhortations all through this week. Entitled, Engaging the Mustard Seed, I'm sorry, Towards Making the Most of This Highly Prophetic Year was making the most of this highly prophetic year the scripture says in the book of isaiah chapter 42 and verse 9 it said the former things have come to pass and new things do i declare before the spring forth i tell you of them and that has been our experience as a family this year god has been detailed in telling us what will come to what will come forth but we discovered that beyond showing us what will come forth he has shown us how it will come forth in other words the things required to see what he has said come to pass have been unveiled to us and that is why we say that the year 2016 is a highly prophetic year a year with details of what will happen, but also details of how to make it happen. God said to us, for example, at the beginning of the year 37, that the year 2016 demands personal responsibility for maximum delivery. In other words, everything God has said is guaranteed on the platform of personal responsibility. So it simply is... A year loaded with blessings and benefits for those who are ready to take responsibility. And therefore, all what we've we'll been looking at in this week are simply how to position ourselves in order to fully take delivery of what this year has to, has to deliver into our lives. And I pray that by the time this year concludes, everything that God has spoken concerning the year will become practical in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. And we're looking at this very important truth that we must engage the mustard seed mentality in our stewardship. Engage the mustard seed mentality in our stewardship. The Bible says in the book of Mark chapter 4, verse 30 to 33. Mark chapter 4, verses 30 to 33. It says to us there, and it said, where will I liken the kingdom of God unto? Or what comparison will we compare it? 
He said, it is like a grain of mustard seed, which when it is sown into the earth, is less than all the seeds that be in the earth. He said, but when it is sown, it groweth up, and becometh greater than all the herbs, and shooteth out great branches, so that the fowls of the air may lodge under the shadow of it. It is like a grain of mustard seed, insignificant in, in size easy to ignore he said but when it is sown when it becomes dedicated to the ground it groweth up god is simply saying to us that god can make anything out of any ordinary destiny you may seem easy to ignore maybe presently forgotten maybe presently forsaken but the scripture says, when it is sown, that little insignificant seed groweth up and it becomes greater than all the trees that are in the field. That's what dedication does. It has the capacity to make the insignificant the most, the most significant. It has the capacity to turn the one who is easily forgotten to the one who cannot be forgotten for generations. Why? Because when it is sown, it groweth up. God is simply saying, you can plant your insignificant life and I can bring glo global relevance out of it. Simply when it is sown. So it is the planting of a life that determines the flourishing of that life. Shout hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of Malachi chapter 3, verse 17 and verse 18. Malachi chapter 3, verse 17 and 18. He said, and they shall be mine, said the Lord of hosts, in the day when I make up my jewels. And I will spare them as a man spared his own son that served me. He said, then shall you return and descend between the righteous and the wicked, between him that served God and him that serves him not. So everyone that is committed or dedicated to his worship naturally becomes the jewel of God. They become the treasure of God. The Bible says, and you will see them and you will be able to discern between them that serve God and those that serve him not. In other words, everyone that is a dedicated steward, steward is clearly discerned, clearly differentiated, clearly demarcated. You can't put him with the crowd. He's always separated. Shout hallelujah. I said shout hallelujah. I said shout Shout hallelujah. Everyone that is a dedicated steward, you can't put them with the crowd. You look all through scripture and you see that individuals that were dedicated could not be grouped with the multitude. They had to be separated. You look at a man like Joseph, committed, dedicated to God. He couldn't be grouped with the multitude, even among his brothers. Joseph could not be put among their group. If you read through the scripture, you discover that there is no tribe of Joseph. Why? Because the children of Joseph become equal to his brothers. He had two tribes dedicated to him. Why? Because he was a man dedicated to God. You have a man like Daniel, committed, dedicated to God. What was the effect? For 65 years, over the rule of four different kings, men, some of them op opposite to each other, enemies of each other, and yet maintained relevance continuously. Why? His commitment to God made him difficult to relegate. Can you imagine somebody coming to power and then the vice president of the other person is the one you select, select to become your vice president, even though he's your enemy. That's what was happening with Daniel. Somebody enters power, they pick him up and put him again as deputy. They pick him up and put him again as deputy. Why? Because his dedication to God made, him, made it impossible for him to be relegated in life. For somebody under the sound of my voice this morning, you shall never be relegated in life in the name of Jesus. I said you shall never be relegated in life in the name of Jesus. You shall never be relegated in life in the name of Jesus. You shall never be relegated in life in the name of Jesus. So God can make anything out of ordinary people who are simply dedicated to God. He can make anything. He can make anything. He can make anything. And I see that becoming somebody's experience here. Number two, we discover that dedication is the highway, is the scriptural highway to glorification. Anyone that seeks and desires glory 
the pathway to it is the pathway of dedication dedication is the pathway the scriptural highway to glorification john chapter 12 verse 23 down to verse 26 jesus speaking there said that the hour for the son of man to be glorified has come but except the corn of wheat fall to the ground and die it abides alone but if it dies it will bring forth much fruit and the scripture says he said he that loveth his life shall lose it and the one that hated his life he shall gain it he shall keep it unto life eternal and verse 26 says if any man serve me let him follow me and where i am there shall my servant be also any man serve me him will my father honor or glorify so the pathway to glorification is the pathway of dedication dedication that is why you see what the scripture says in the book of deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1 if you hearken diligently to the voice of the lord your god to observe to do all that is that i command you this day he said then the lord your god will set you on high above all so those who are dedicated will always end up glorifying they'll be above all i see that becoming somebody's experience here in the name of the lord jesus christ you who looks like you are beneath all i see god taking you above all i said i see god taking you above all i see god taking you above all this is very important so we discover from scriptures that everyone that commits to dedication ends in glorification everyone that commits dedication everyone that commits to dedication getting planted getting rooted getting dedicated dying to self they end up glorified that's the picture jesus was painting up for us there in john 12. he was saying the time for me to be glorified has come but there is a pathway except the seed fall to the ground and die except it decomposes except it gives itself to the ground it abides alone but when it does the glory emerges for somebody under the sound of my voice as you plant your life as a seed with god i see the glory of god emerging from you in the name of the lord jesus christ we have an example of this particularly in the life of paul the apostle paul was a man of strange dedication to god the bible speaking paul uttering these words via the holy ghost said in galatians chapter 2 and verse 20 he said i am crucified with christ nevertheless i live yet the life that i live i live not in the flesh but by the faith of the son of god who loved me and gave himself for me i am crucified with christ nevertheless i live but the life i live is not my own i'm not in charge i'm completely sold out to god that's the minute there is not i have no personal opinion i'm under heaven's decision that's the minute he said i've given up all of my rights and i've simply planted myself in god that's the minute the life i live is not my own but i live by the faith of the son of god who loved me and gave himself for me that is why you have a man like paul saying things like none of these things move me that i may finish my course with joy none of these things move me he was a man totally sold out to god a man who never considered anything that came against him a man who simply focused on pleasing god the pleasure of god was his foremost desire and look at what became of that man the bible said concerning paul he said in the book of first corinthians chapter 15 beginning from verse 8 down to verse 10 paul speaking here said and last of all he was seen of me also as one that is born out of due season premature child given no chance to live he said for i am the least of the apostles that i am not even qualified to be called an apostle because i persecuted the church but i am what i am by the grace of god grace landed on his life why because dedication was his way of life any man that has dedication as a way of life will live a dangerously engraced life 
a dangerously and grace life. He was a man of unusual grace. Look at what the Bible said concerning this Paul again in Ephesians 3 and verse 8. He said there, he said, I who am, the, who am less than the least of all saints, is this grace given? I am less than the smallest, but this grace landed on me. Have you not heard that the mustard seed is the smallest of the seeds? Yet when it enters the ground, it becomes the greatest of the trees. In other words, no matter how small your life may be as a seed, if you commit it to the ground, God has all grace to make it abound until that insignificant seed shoots up and overshoots every other thing. So we discover that according to scriptures, from what God is showing us here, that our dedication is the pathway to our glorification. Now this Paul the apostle who called himself less than the least of saints. In other words, when you measure Christians, he's below all of them. You measure apostles, he's not even supposed to be counted among them. But this Paul who planted his insignificant life in dedication became the most significant name in the New Testament. Why? Dedication. 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 He entered into realms with God that those who walked with Jesus while he was on the earth could not enter. Why? Dedication. Look at the testimony of Peter concerning Paul in 2 Peter 3, verse 15 and 16. He said that according to the wisdom which is given to our brother Paul, which he writes things that are hard to be understood. Hard to be understood. Nobody among the apostles understood Jesus like, Jesus, like John, and, John and Peter. But here comes Peter saying that Paul the apostle was writing things about this same Jesus that were hard to be understood. He entered into a realm with God by reason of his dedication in life. Paul the apostle was the only apostle among all of those ones in his era that never physically walked with Jesus when he was on the earth. Yet he was one who had the revelation of Christ more than all others. Why? Dedication. God is simply saying to you and saying to me this morning, if you can just get planted, I will make a surprise out of you. If you can just get planted, I will make a surprise out of you. If you can just get rooted, just get dedicated, just get committed, I will make a surprise out of you. God's servant and father said that many years ago, seven or so of them were gathered together while looking at how to pay the rent for the church at a certain time of 3,000 naira only. He said, he looked at them and said, that now that we are all at the same level, I want you to understand this thing. He said, because a time is coming when some of us will take off in the sky and others will be asking, we don't even know what they are using. He said, let me tell you what I am using now. I am sold out to God. I am sold out. My life is lost inside God. And he said that he said that because he knew that everyone that is dedicated truly to God cannot end up on the floor. He must end up as a high flyer. It doesn't matter what level you are now. Maybe you are even up there in the sky. God has higher realms for you to fly. Maybe you are still on the floor and everybody has written you off. God is saying that just get planted, just get dedicated, just get committed, and I will make a surprise out of you. Somebody believe me, say loud, amen. I said, somebody believe me, say loud, amen. Somebody believe me, say a louder, amen. You believe that that's you, say louder, amen. In conclusion, it's important for us to recognize that the master key to the full delivery of the balance of our quantum leap testimony is dedication. It is the master key to the balance of our quantum leap testimony. Simply, it is dedication. The Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 5, verse 5 down to verse 8, the Bible says, And Simon answered Jesus, saying, Master, we have toiled all night, and we have caught nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. 
And the Bible says, as soon as they had done this, they enclosed a great multitude of fish, so much so that the boat began to sink and the net began to break. Supernatural breakthrough at the frequency of committed obedience. Committed what? Obedience. Committed what? Obedience. You see, the obedience that demands of you what is inconvenient for you is the one that comforts you. When they had toiled all night, it was time for them to go and rest. And here comes Jesus saying, launch out now into the deep. Many of us are perhaps, you have already engaged all week. And here we are again. And God is saying, launch out into the deep. Because the inconvenient obedience is the comforting obedience. It's the one that releases comfort in your direction. It's the one that settles the unsettled areas of your life. As you commit to God by obeying him. Say, Lord, whatever you say I should do, I commit to doing it. When that becomes your way of life, watch it. You have entered into a realm of unusual settlement. I see that becoming your experience in Jesus' name. In 2 Chronicles chapter 15, from verse 3 down to verse 15, but we take some verses in particular. Look at verse 7. 2 Chronicles 15, 7. The Bible says to us there, Be ye strong therefore, and let not your hands be weak, for your work shall be rewarded. What shall be rewarded? Your work. Your work shall be rewarded. And the Bible goes on to tell us between verse 12 and verse 15. Second Chronicles chapter 15 verse 12. And they entered into a covenant to seek the Lord God of their fathers. And with all their heart and with all their soul. He said in verse 13 that and whosoever will not seek the Lord God of Israel should be put to death whether small or great whether man or woman. And verse 14, he said, and they swear unto God with a loud voice, with shouting, with trumpets and cornets. Why? In verse 15, he said, all Judah rejoiced at the old for they had sworn with all their heart and they had sought him with their whole desire and it was found of them. And what was the response? God gave them rest. What? Round about. That is all round settlement. All round settlement. But look at the degree of obedience. Everyone must seek and serve God, must walk as serving him with all their heart. He said, anyone that does not do that, they will put them to death. Inconvenient obedience produced all-round comfort. I don't know what department of your life still requires settlement, but as you obey God in this season, by engaging wholeheartedly, I see every such department of your life experiencing settlement in the name of Jesus. In Haggai chapter 2, we see another picture there from verse 3 to 9. The Lord speaking again to Haggai and through Haggai to um, Zerubbabel and all of the other army that were there to build the temple of God. They say, who is left among you that has seen this house in her first glory? And how do you see it now? Is it not in your eyes as nothing? He said, but be strong, Zerubbabel. Be strong, Joshua. And be strong, people. For and said the Lord, and walk, for I am with you. And as you are walking, he said, the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. The glory of the latter house. That is God's end point for every committed and dedicated one engaging. The glory of the latter house shall be greater than that of the former. It doesn't matter what the situation looks like now. God was saying there, he said, how do you see this house now? Is it even not worse than at the beginning? He said, yet I will make the end of it greater than whatever it has been. I see that becoming somebody's experience here. No matter what seems to be in deplorable state and condition around your life, I see it being turned around for a testimony in the name of Jesus. But what is God saying? Simply engage in the labor. Of this revival as you put your hand to the plow engaging you will see all that god has spoken concerning this prophetic year come to pass please hear this the word of god is as potent any day any time as when he spoke it it is as potent everything he said about 2016 is still valid until 2016 ends and the year has not ended it's only ending and god has not run out of time 
with God, time is not a factor. He lives outside time. A thousand years is like a day, and a day is like a thousand years. God has capacity to put what it will take 1,000 years to do inside one day. Now, hear this. You know why scientists are struggling with evolution? Because as far as they are concerned, what has happened with man, what has happened with the creatures on the earth should take a process to happen. But they are forgotten that when you deal with God, a thousand years is one day. So God squeezed the development of a thousand years into a day. And on each day, he made what he determined to make. If God can squeeze an evolutionary process of millions of years into a day and create what he wants to create, cutting short the process, then what is it that he cannot do with your life? Say with me, time is not an issue. Say louder with me, time is not an issue. My own quantum leap testimony shall still be delivered. Come on, say with, comfort, with confidence, my own quantum leap testimony shall still be delivered. It shall still be delivered. Time is not an issue. A thousand years is a day, and a day, a thousand years. Time is not an issue. My quantum leap testimony shall still be delivered. What do you need, therefore? Grace to engage as a mustard seed. Planting your life into the kingdom earth until the glory emerges. Rise your feet with me and pray this prayer unto the Lord. Lord, I receive grace for dedication to plant my life as a seed until it emerges in glory, until it emerges with honor, until it emerges with testimony. Pray that prayer from the depth of your heart this morning. Let God hear the voice of your supplication. Remember, you are praying for yourself. You are praying for yourself. You are praying for yourself. Lira manaketelo bredia keno zabala shabrendia katalo liria katandre diketola impra de keko paradia lika fridia manato. Grace, Lord. Grace, Lord. That's what I call on you for this morning. I know that as soon as my part is played, yours is settled. I receive grace to engage dedicatedly. I receive grace to engage committedly. I receive grace to engage, oh Lord, in such a manner that all that you have spoken will be brought to pass in my life. Are you praying? Come on, let God hear the voice of of your supplication, the voice of your supplication. Leram ne ketoli ambarado keli ketala shembra ba la kendre di keteli ambarado ka le pandia la pradia kano zaba. Let grace answer. Let grace answer. Le kota la baria le ambra bo kete kle dia kano ba shiri ambarade kle dia keno daba la kata empro dia kendre di keteli angarata. Let grace answer for me. Let it answer for me. Father, thank you. Blessed be your holy name. We give you the praise and the glory. In Jesus' precious name we are praying. Yeah. This last quarter of the year in which we found ourselves, and this last agenda of the year, prophetic agenda of the year in which we have located ourselves, we deliver for you all that this year carries in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. I said it will deliver for you all that this year carries in the name of Jesus Christ. It will deliver for you all that this year carries in the name of Jesus Christ. It will deliver for you all that this year carries in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody believe me, say a loud amen. amen. Now hear this. Every time you see a woman pregnant, it is at the end that the content of her stomach will speak. At the end. It will show in the journey, but it will only speak at the end. You can see a, preg a pregnancy physically, but you can only hear a baby at birth. 
What God is saying is this. Anything you have seen from January till now is only the showing of the pregnancy. But what will happen at the end is the speaking of the birth. I said it's the speaking of the birth. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, whatever this year carries as pregnancy, this last quarter of the year, as we engage wholeheartedly, it shall speak on your behalf. I said it shall speak on your behalf. 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 In the name of Jesus. So shall it be for you. Lift up your hand to heaven and give God glory. Father, we thank you. We give you the praise and the glory. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. In the name of Jesus.